Not a done deal yet. Good morning, Aroxia. And they still have a ways to go here, but they've agreed on what they call the top line numbers here. They've agreed on how much money they want to spend. Now they just have to work out the rest of those details to prevent a government shutdown. I'm confident that we'll get the job done and be able to, to demonstrate that we can govern well. House Speaker Mike Johnson sounded confident enough when this interview aired yesterday morning. And a few hours later, he had a deal, at least in principle, that even President Biden praised, issuing a statement saying, the bipartisan funding framework congressional leaders have reached moves us one step closer to preventing a needless government shutdown. But the federal government might want to keep those shutdown signs close at hand. I'm currently a no. I'd like to see some real cuts. And a number of other Republicans are already voicing similar concerns. While the funding framework would reduce part of a big funding boost for the IRS and claw back some unused COVID funds, conservative members of Congress say the spending is still out of control. And Speaker Johnson has a tiny majority to play with. And even if this deal goes through, left unresolved is funding for Israel and Ukraine and efforts to crack down on the unprecedented number of illegal immigrants streaming across the southern border. And a number of Republicans actually don't want a border deal because they would have rather had the issue at election time then work with us to solve it. We don't want to empower more of this. The, the White House, the administration, Secretary Mayorkas have put a welcome mat out. And the immigration issue is going to take a long time to solve. I mean, we think of how long Congress has been working on this already. But there is this hard, fast deadline for a possible government shutdown. And that other funding measure may get done in time, or they may have to come up with a temporary extension. Eroxia. All right, Doug, thank you.